I've had Staffordshire Bull Terriers virtually all my life. My father bred them and I grew up with them and my children have grown up with them. Well, I have kept quite a few breeds in my life as well as the Stafford, but for me, it is the best breed. Staffies are brilliant dogs. They're really lively, really energetic, really fun type dogs, and they are real people dogs. They love people, so they make fabulous pets. Staffies often get bad press, which really isn't fair. They're great dogs. They're real fun personality dogs, lively. Um, they love to play games, and in the right environment with the right training, they make fabulous pets. It's very important if you buy a Stafford to protect it when it's young. Don't let a dog down the road bully it. Don't give it a bad experience with another dog because that is when you are likely to create a dog that doesn't get on with other four-legged animals. People think of them as a guard dog and they are not. They love people. They are not reserved as most guard dogs are. They will look after people, particularly weak people that the weakest in the family, either the child or a woman against a man, but they won't necessarily look after your pictures or your furniture or your jewellery. When you think about a staffy, you're getting a small dog with a huge personality. Anecdotally, they're supposed to be good with children and not so good with other dogs, and that's probably because there's some terrier in there. From a behavioural point of view, when I think of a staffy, I'm thinking of a chewer, and a powerful chewer at that. So we're looking at leaving it lots of appropriate things to chew, such as nyla bones. If it doesn't, it may well start chewing your furniture. It can also tug a lot, because they've got that bulldog part of the heritage, and that means that they can hang on to things a lot. So you need to teach an off command very early, while it's still a puppy. Big personality, small dog, very muscly, you need to train it. Staffordshire Bull Terrier has smooth coat, which is really low maintenance coat. It doesn't need to be groomed by a professional dog groomer, just uh, brushed with rubber brush on a regular basis. If you don't want to spend money on grooming, Staffy is ideal breed. They don't smell, they're easy to look after, always clean. If you already have a dog in the house, you have to be careful. If they come as a puppy, then you'll probably be all right. A lot of people keep two bitch Staffords. I would say never try to keep two male Staffords together. Before they buy one, I think they should go and meet them in people's homes. They're very lively, so they will come immediately up to you and probably jump up to you, depending on how well-trained the owners have them. They have now become mixed with a lot of other breeds. And so whilst they might look a bit like a Stafford, if they're not a full Stafford, they may very well have the characteristics of the other breed, so you're not getting what you expected. It does actually pay you to go to a proper breeder and have a proper kennel club registration and all the health checks that go along with that, by the way. But you're more likely to get the proper character if you do that. <laughs>